Gun Talk is brought to you by Springfield Armory. Laser Max. And Double Tap Ammunition. Some targets don't know enough to stay down when they're hit. That just means you get a lot of shooting in. Now here's a fun one if you're a varmint shooter or if you just like to shoot rim fires. This is the varmint pop-up target. And basically, as you can see, you knock it over, it automatically resets. So as their marketing slogan says, exercise your trigger finger, not your feet. Let's put this out here, shoot this thing, and kill some varmints. You know what I would like to do with this is get about four or five of them, set them up all across the field, and then you have pop-up targets. That'd be fun. So let's shoot this and see if we can make it pop up. The Varmint pop-up target. Take a look at this one, it's a whole lot of fun. This simple looking target has become a staple at many shooting competitions. Do it right and it's not too tough. Get it wrong and it can get away from you. This is the Whirly Gig target from MGM. It's really something they use in competition shooting a lot and it's a lot of fun to shoot. We're gonna shoot this with a pistol today but you can use a lot of different uh, rifle or shotgun or whatever depending on the distance that you're shooting it at. Basically, as you shoot these plates, the plate's gonna fall off and then all of a sudden the balance is upset and it starts spinning around. So it makes it a hard target to shoot, but we're gonna give it a shot. Now the competition guys make it look easy, but I'm not a competition guy, so let's see how it goes. The Whirly Give from MGM. Now that is a fun target. We do have safety rules for shooting, but there are special considerations when shooting steel. Shooting steel targets is a lot of fun, but there are safety concerns, mainly backing up far enough away. That's because of ricochet. The bullets hit this, they break apart, they kind of go here, they go there. So you want to make sure you're far enough away. Generally 10 yards is the rule we use. The ricochet really is directed downward on purpose, but we thought we'd put some water here, kind of shoot the target and show you what happens with this ricochet off the steel. We got. Yep, we got uh, several holes here. Several holes here. So there you go. Steel target safety. When we return, Gun Talk's version of Targets Gone Wild and these targets you can get at the grocery store. We all love explosions in the movies. The Gun Talk crew wasn't going to be left out of this one.